It's called Baba Ganoush in the supermarket. I'd rather it was called aubergine dip. Certainly in the Levant, where this dish comes from, uh, that's what they call it. Given how good it tastes, it's almost outrageously easy to make. And making your own is certainly faster than a trip to the supermarket. So you get yourself a nice large aubergine, like this one, and you rinse it and put it in the oven on a tray at 170 degrees. After about 10 minutes, turn it. While the aubergine cooks, prepare your flavour palette. Here there are three crushed cloves of garlic, three tablespoons of tahini, and the grated zest of a lemon, as well as three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Now I'm going to add around two to three tablespoons of oil. Olive oil, of course. Now squeeze on the juice of your lemon. The aubergine's cooked. It takes 15 to 20 minutes. Take it out of the oven and leave it to cool. Now it's cooked when you can see the skin has shriveled. And when you touch it, you can see the flesh inside has collapsed. The aubergine has cooled, cut it in half. You can see that there's a lot of seeds there and I'm going to try and remove as many of them as I can. Don't be anal about de-seeding, otherwise you're going to lose most of the aubergine. But as you can see, there are considerably fewer than there were. Now scoop out the flesh and add it to your dish. You can see I've scraped all of the flesh from the aubergine. You discard the charred skin, of course. And there it is in the bowl, ready to blend. Keep blending until it's all smooth. This is where the magic begins. As you can see, it's now blended into a luscious, smooth paste. At this point, taste it uh, to see if the seasoning needs tweaking. Uh, you might want to add more lemon or more salt. Baba ganoush can be served at room temperature. Personally, I prefer it chilled. It needs some decoration to mitigate its pallor. I think nuts work really well. Here I've scattered some pumpkin seeds, some pine nuts and walnut crumbs. Then to add a lovely uh, sheen, you pour over a little drizzle of olive oil. I've also sprinkled over a very tiny amount of smoked chili flakes mainly for the splash of deep crimson they provide. Now it's tasting time. Mmm. The rich smokiness of the aubergine and the creamy nuttiness of the tahini combine to give this baba ganoush something of a sexy flavour. It's quite delicious. Enjoy.